A man who deliberately mowed down pedestrians in Melbourne has spoken to police about voices, dreams and the poor treatment of Muslims, but police can find no terrorist links at this stage. The 32-year-old driver, an Australian citizen of Afghan descent with a history of mental health and drug problems, remains in hospital under police guard. A four-year-old boy with head injuries and a critically injured 83. Year old man are among 19 people hurt in the incident at Flinders Street on Thursday afternoon when a 4WD deliberately felled pedestrians. Twelve victims remain in hospital, with three critical, Premier Daniel Andrews told three or on Friday. Acting Police Chief Commissioner Shane Patton says while the man is yet to be formally interviewed he made a number of utterances to investigators on Thursday night. He spoke about dreams. He spoke about voices but he also did attribute some of his actions to the poor treatment of Muslims, Mr Patton told Nine Network on Friday. Asked if there were links to terrorism, he said, that's certainly one area we're exploring in respect to motivation. The significant flavor of what we're dealing with appears to be mental health, but nonetheless, given what he has said, we continue to explore, fully, all avenues, Mr Patton later told ABC Melbourne. The driver was arrested after being dragged out of the car by an off-duty police sergeant who is having surgery for a hand injury on Friday. Police are yet to find any links between the man and extremist or terrorist ideology and he was not known to intelligence agencies. He will undergo psychiatric assessment and investigators hope to formally interview him on Friday afternoon. Mr Patton says the man was on a mental health plan and was due to attend an appointment on Thursday morning but did show. However, the driver is known to police following a 2010 minor assault matter and also has a history of drug use. More witnesses came forward on Friday, telling how the car raced at up to 100 km per hour through pedestrians lined up at a busy crossing which is used by up to 600,000 people during the morning and afternoon peaks. The only thing that slowed him down was him hitting pedestrians, witness Jim told ABC TV. The attack comes 11 months after six people were killed in a similar incident four blocks away in Burke Street. Premier Daniel Andrews condemned the horrific act, an evil act, an act of cowardice, perpetrated against innocent bystanders, but urged the public to go about their festive activities. Mr Patton reassured the public hundreds more police will be on the streets over Christmas and New Year. A second man, 24, who was filming nearby the incident, and had knives in his bag and a small amount of cannabis, has been released. He is expected to be charged on summons with drugs and weapons possession, but the alleged offences are not linked to the Flinders Street incident. All roads in Melbourne's CBD reopened about 2am and trams were operating as normal on Friday morning. Copyright AAP 2017